All right, guys. So what I discovered was that Coca-Cola released a training program. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Reconditioning program. A reconditioning training program on how to be less white. We're gonna take a look at it and we're going to assess and maybe break down. And, and we're gonna break... explain to you why it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whenever yeah. you see like, why this actually makes sense. And the guy has his hair like this and he's like, why your whiteness is toxic and you should care. And why you should just kill yourself over it. Here we go. Confronting racism. Understanding what it means to be white. Challenging what it means to be racist. To be less white, number one, be less oppressive. I think I was saying this to you just yesterday. I should, Derek, stop oppressing me. <laughs> no, they, you said, Derek, stop oppress, oppressing minority groups. That's what you said. That's oh, what you said. Sorry, I, I forget sometimes. <laughs> And then I said, I'm sorry for this whiteness. The second thing is be less arrogant. <laughs> I'm wearing a bandana and a tilted hat to reduce whiteness and be less arrogant. Good job, Derek. I am not upset to be related to you. Number three to reduce white or to be less white is to be less certain. <laughs> so they want me to be like, 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 oh my gosh, like, like, maybe we I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, guys, maybe we should stop dumping these baby elephants into this bottomless pit. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be certain about it. I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Derek, wait. Hang I don't on. know. I, I don't even understand. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Ah, uh, I don't understand. Ah! Number four, uh, be less defensive. Don't show strength. Come on. Be def be less defensive. Wait. Yeah, be less defensive. So, so when be more off offensive? Means, I no, it means <laughs> it means when someone says, "Hey, you're white." I stop say, it. I you, say, "Yes, thank you. I'm sorry." <laughs> I think that's what they mean because it doesn't say to be less offensive to others. It means to be less defensive. So it means to <laughs> offensively apologize for what- But so if I see a black man beating a white man in the street, I should help the black man beat him and be less defensive and more offensive. Yes, I think that's exactly <laughs> what they mean. Number five, be less ignorant. Of what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm too white to understand what you're talking about. <laughs> we don't know anything. Oh, We're yeah. too ignorant. Yeah. Maybe we should try to be less. Yeah, less ignorant. Ignorant. Would the short phrase of ignorant be like igger or something? <laughs> so when I say like, Derek, stop being igger. Is that like the short new way to say ignorant? Number six, be more humble. If you're humbler, you're less white. Yeah, remember, all of this is to be less white. White people just, somebody just needs to kick them in the stomach and say, be less ignorant, be more humble, you slime. <laughs> Number seven, listen. What? <laughs> you gotta listen. I... Derek, do you hear me? I'm trying to be less white. Yes, I can hear you. Is this to be less white or acknowledge how white you are? I think it's both. I think you're supposed to acknowledge how white you are so and then take follow- take off a sideways hat or maybe just tilt it the other way? I think you just tilt it the other way. Yeah, okay. Number eight, believe. <laughs> believe. Believe. <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> Why would it say believe? I don't like know. Serious it's just said believe us. Drink Coca-Cola. Believe. Okay, number nine. Break with apathy. What does that mean? Apathy anymore? means lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern. Break with apathy. Quit being so inconsiderate, you scummy white pilgrim-loving flesh sacks. <laughs> <laughs> and the last but not least, 
Break with white solidarity. What does that mean? It means does that mean have, get some black friends? Yeah. But remember, you can't say that you have black friends or you'll just be considered a racist using black people. You're not actually friends with them, even if you think you are. I've heard that online. I've learned that you're not allowed to have black friends or white friends or any friends. Makes sense to me. Don't have friends. Live by yourself. That way, none of this is a problem for you, right? Also, kill yourself. The best thing you can do if you're white is just end your whiteness. So let's just wrap it up one more time. To be less white is to be less oppressive, be less arrogant, be less certain, be less defensive, be less ignorant, be more humble, listen, believe, break with apathy, break with white solidarity. <laughs> that come from? I don't know. I that just was the whitest thing you could have ended this with. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. Have you learned anything? <laughs> ah, I ah. just broke my phone. It's in pieces. It's split down the middle. <laughs> just like my butt. <laughs> my, my white butt. I wish my butt was as huge as black women's butts. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just glad they didn't use the term white privilege in there. I'm surprised yeah. though they managed to like write the whole thing without sliding it in. Yeah. Somehow they managed to not put that in. So they, they get a couple of points for that. Coca-Cola facing backlash says, be less white learning plan was about workplace inclusion. See, I, I feel like they missed the idea. It's not really inclusion, it's more of exclusion. Yeah. They just care about hating white people. I guess it all comes down to how many white people drink Coca-Cola now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to bet anything on it, but there's a pretty good chance a white woman probably wrote that. There is a 9 out of 10 chance that whoever wrote this is I mean, It could white, have been a black like person. by far. It's possible. But unlikely. In the U.S. and other Western nations, white people are socialized to feel they are inherently superior because they are white. Research shows that by age, by age three to four, children understand that it's better to be white. Says who? <laughs> what re what they research? Asked, they asked a three-year-old. Link they? the research. What research? Because most three-year-olds don't even know how to speak yet, for starters. Clearly, this person has no children. What research is this? Oh, wait. Robin D'Angelo. Robin D'Angelo? Type out Robin D'Angelo. On it. <laughs> Robin D'Angelo is indeed a white woman. Oh, she wrote the book White Fragility. And what does it mean to be white? And is everyone really equal? Here she is. Her face looks like it's made of <laughs> I mean, Coca-Cola, yeah. they're the ones who enforce this new law of Coca-Cola, but she wrote it. Okay, so based on this, I know how we can judge uh, ourselves. How so? so? We're going to go stand out in the snow, and, and, then you, sh and you should only see floating clothes. We are pretty white. Extremely white. We're very white. You We're floating clothes. You can't even see us. Probably. You can't see our hands or faces. You should just see a uh, hair and clothing. This whiteness is unbearable. 